Mark. Side, side. I need emergency assistance. What's your location? The Wind River Indian Reservation. Cut. Cut! The Wind River Indian Reservation is one of the poorest places in North America an area where winters are brutal to an extreme. 120 years ago, the Eastern Shoshone and Northern Arapaho would have, would have moved out of there until next spring, and yet they've been forced to stay there through a winter in a place they wouldn't choose to be. Cut. Right. Taylor's, I think, a really terrific director. He has a very strong vision on the story, and the place, and the characters, and I mean, heck, he wrote it. No, no, no. He doesn't sugarcoat things. He just kind of tells it like it is. He's just kind of straight to the point, you know, and I appreciate that. That's all I needed. That's and then I can get in and cover it, and then I'm going to sell that he's around this side. We'll I like to think of Taylor as either a modern day cowboy or the Marlboro man. He's both. <laughs> So he basically, I think you can throw him in any kind of extreme element and he's like fine somehow. He loves the idea of just survival. Hats! 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 The coolest thing about him as a writer is that everything he writes about, he's fully already been immersed in. So any question you have, he'll have an answer for it. Great, Lizzie, one more, don't cuss. Just, just, ah! And if it's I want to tweak before we spray, I'll just reset it back to one. He spent a lot of time on reservations. These stories that he tells comes from an experience and a knowledge that's very authentic. I lived in northwest Wyoming with my family, so this is an area that I know, and there's a perception of both the people who live in that region and specifically the people who live on reservations and the kind of people that work on reservations and who exploit them there's one perception of all these people, and then there's the reality. And so I made a film that shows the reality as best I could. The way we're shooting the action in this film is fascinating. Like, it's as real as it gets without the bullets. And you can see that when you watch a movie. This is a very interesting and dynamic way of filming. Take one beat to okay. calm yourself. Get set. Hey, only Mark. Check. Action. And then go. Cut. Exactly right. This forces something to happen. The way that he worked with me as an actor was special. He had a way of making me feel safe and comfortable and also appropriately scared. Hey, only Mark. All social change begins with the arts. Face. My job is to hold a mirror up to our world and reflect it back and hopefully engage it in dialogue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of point at right now. It's my responsibility as a filmmaker to try and find these elements that people can recognize in themselves and other characters and, and not play to tropes or stereotypes. <laughs> Hopefully it makes people ask questions about themselves, about this place, about how we treat others, and affects some kind of positive change. I know you're looking for clues, but you're missing all the signs. This movie talks about some very heavy issues. Oh my God. But it has a really wonderful feeling that we should be left with as an audience. There's a sort of cathartic healing these characters go through, and you can walk out of the theater and feel good. That's what's most exciting to me. This place, what it takes from us, what it took from you. I got lucky. Luck lives in the city. Get your hand off that weapon! Get out of here.